Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna with Goodness Greenish, and today I'm going to be talking about Beauty Counter's brand new Featherweight Foundation Skin Twin. <laughs> so excited. So if you're new to my channel, a little bit about me is I've been a makeup artist for over 20 years. Yes, I kind of stopped counting after 20, but a makeup artist that I've been in the beauty industry for over 20 years, and I've been a portrait photographer for about 10 years now. So the products that I use have to work. Um, they have to be, they have to film beautifully, they have to photograph gorgeous, um, they have to look natural all of the things that any other conventional makeup artist brand has to have, all those qualities, and Beauty Counter has that. I got into clean beauty about five years ago, um, basically through Beauty Counter. Again, I had no idea about the lack of regulation and the, the ingredients that are allowed in our products, so I'm very much an advocate for safer beauty, clean beauty, but I also have to have it work, so I wouldn't support this brand if I if I didn't believe in it. So anyway, just wanted to introduce myself for those of you that are new, because I know I'm getting some new people, which is fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. And if you really like the content, please subscribe. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. So I've been with the business, with Beauty Counter for about five years now. It'll be five years in July. And when I started, we had this beautiful foundation. We still have it. It's called Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. It's one of our best sellers for a reason. It's beautiful, more sheer to medium coverage. It's hydrating, it plumps. But we came out with something that is replacing it. And I promise you, for those diehard tint skin lovers, you are going to love this new foundation. Um, you know, again, five years ago they came out with this, uh, with Tint Skin, so it's been time. There's been a lot of innovation in clean beauty, so they're just moving with it. Okay, the difference between the two, and I'm going to actually do half my face with Tint Skin just so you can see the difference with the skin twin. It's still going to look beautiful, but this is going to be better, and it will eventually replace Tint Skin, okay? First of all, this has so much hyaluronic acid in it. It's going to plump your skin. This has hyaluronic, but this has more. It's like serum level, so a concentrated version of hyaluronic acid. So it's gonna plump the skin, it's going to soften fine lines, wrinkles, all of that. It's almost like airbrushes it. And if you use other brands, it actually reminds me of Armani's Silk, but it doesn't sit on top of the skin. It blends nicely because there's no fillers that kind of a thing. Um, so again, hyaluronic acid, and what, and it also has hydrophobic uh, pigments. That's a new term for me. And what that means <laughs> is that it helps with keeping the color true, as well as keeping it long wearing, that it stays all day. So that's, uh, that's another new thing about it. Comes in 18 different shades, six different categories, everything from fair to deep. So just, I mean, all the colors. It really is something that we've needed, so I'm really proud of that. Um, so I'm just gonna get right to it. I'm gonna put Tint Skin, and I used Sand Prior. And as you can see, I already have my eye makeup on because I just wanted to be able to, for you to just see the foundation. So I'm gonna put Tint Skin on, and this one is Sand. This is what I used before. And I'm actually going to use, I'll just use my fingers. I usually like to use a brush, but So with foundation, I really believe that you put it where you need it, but I think sometimes it just depends on for photography. You want it just everything to look even out, and sometimes with photography, if your foundation isn't blended in or all over your face, it, uh, it looks kind of strange. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it all over so you can really see the difference. Okay, so this is buildable. The tint skin is buildable. It's still gonna be gorgeous, but I just really want you to see the difference between the two, because I know I'll get questions about it. Okay, so it's buildable, meaning if you put on a little more, gorgeous. 
I mean, I love it. Now, with the Skin Twin, how you pick your color, and if you go to the website, if you don't um, have a consultant that's nearby that can test it or send you samples, and I'd be more than happy to send you samples if you do not have a consultant that you're working with, be more than happy to direct you um, in the right place. But you can go online and they're gonna have models within the different categories and they're gonna have a couple colors within each one, two to three, just depending. Again, fair, medium, light, or light, medium to deep. And you're gonna find the model and then kind of figure out the range that way. But if you have them in person, you want to basically compare the two colors that are closest to each other, and you're gonna put it right here on your um, jawline. So this one is 340, which is sand. I already know what color I am, by the way. And the key to getting the perfect foundation is you really want it to match your face, because even if you're lighter here, you can always put bronzer to match the, the, your neck if your neck is darker, that kind of thing. And that's usually what I get. People will have a lighter face because they try to avoid the sun, which is great, wearing hats and that kind of thing. But you are definitely um, wanting to match your face for the most part, because you can always put foundation on. And then this one is 350, which is the next shade up. And usually you just wait like a minute or so, and you're gonna find you're going to look at the two colors and you're going to see which one went right into the skin better, like disappears basically. So we'll give it a second. Have some coffee. Okay, so seeing which color disappears into my skin. Better, and it's looking like it's 340. Isn't that funny? Because the other day I put on 350 and they look different. So that's a thing. And I didn't, I actually, because I've been testing the colors, I've only had these for a couple of days. So yeah, so there's that. So I am 340, so I am still sand. So I'm going to take off the 350 and I'm gonna put on 340. I'm gonna use my fingertips just because that's what I did with the tin skin, but I prefer using a uh, Beauty Counters retractable brush, foundation brush, just because I like to not touch my skin as much. And I like to not touch my skin as much, but I also like that brush. It's just gorgeous because it does really buff that foundation into your skin. Another thing about this, if you're familiar with Beauty Counter already, this is going to be replacing Tint Skin in our Flawless in 5 collection, which is our uh, bundle. It's basically all the products you need to get ready in five minutes. And I will go over that in a little bit, but this will be replacing this. Look at the coverage already. And this is, I haven't even put on a second coat, coat, second application, is <laughs> I guess what I meant to see. Because again, this one's buildable too. Gives a, definitely has more coverage than the tint skin, as you can see. But it still looks like skin. That's what I love about it. And it's so hydrating. I've also noticed that I do not need to set it with powder. I didn't have to with tint skin as well, but I really noticed that I do not have to do it. I actually did like a workout class um, the other day from home, by the way. <laughs> via online and uh, I was wearing it and I was sweating through it and it still looked good. It stayed in place. I'm like, this This is the one thing about all of our makeup. They just wear so well. Christy Coleman, she's our chief artistic director. I think that's her title. <laughs> she's uh, one of the first clean beauty makeup artists um, and she has, I mean, she works with celebrities and magazines and all that stuff while working with us, of course, in developing products. Um, she has to have products that work. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see the difference? It's subtle, still pretty, but better. And again, this is buildable. This is, this is um, I put a little bit more where I wanted it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Now I'm going to take the tint skin off and then I'm going to put the skin twin on this side and then I'm going to talk about Flawless in 5. 
So look how gorgeous it looks. I just put it all over, evened it out. And that coverage, I mean, look, it's so pretty. It's not full coverage, but it's more than medium coverage when you build it. So when you first start it, it's definitely more light coverage versus um, sheer. And then it builds up to a little bit more than I would say medium coverage. That's just my opinion. Um, and I forgot to mention how gorgeous the packaging is too. It's just, it's in glass. So again, sustainability, um, as far as recyclability, that kind of thing. So beautiful, beautiful sitting on your counter as well. And you know that there's safe ingredients in it. So I mentioned earlier about now it's going to be replacing the Flawless and Fives tint skin. So again, Flawless and Five is Beauty Counters bundle, and that's basically to get ready in five minutes, to get you polished. It's the six products that you will need. So of course you're gonna need your foundation. Also comes with concealer, which I already applied, which is the Touch Up Concealer Pen. Uh, it comes with brows, and what's cool, again, it's customizable, and it can you can do the walkthrough and figure it out all online, or your consultant can help you with that. Um, so again, you pick your foundation, you pick your concealer, then you can either pick a brow pencil, which our brow pencils are awesome. They're waxy, so they really stay on, um, but they're also feathery, so you can make it looks really natural. Um, and then my favorite is our is our brow uh, brow gel and they come in five different colors one is invisible but they're very nice it, they kind of reminds, my, reminds me of boy brow from another brand um i can't remember is it glossier yeah so it kind of reminds me of that but again uh ingredients that i'm really comfortable with then you get to choose mascara volumizing or lengthening and then your blush and I'm gonna actually put on blush. So I didn't put any powder. So you get the blush. This one's gonna be melon. So basically I have the Flawless in Five, but with eyeshadow. <laughs> so brows, mascara, cheek color, this is melon. Very pretty. And then you get to pick a lip gloss. Again, customizable. And this will be Blush Shimmer, which is like a sheer peachy color, peachy pink. Mm, it's so pretty and it's great for going into summertime even if you're just gonna be walking from your living room to your deck <laughs> so at least you look good or go to the grocery store no one will see your lips but because <laughs> they'll be underneath the mask um, anyway so basically this is the flawless in five with the brand new skin twin it's kind of a combo video and just led into that because I was like, why not talk about Flawless in Five? So again, brand new foundation, Skin Twin. Another thing I forgot to mention, when you do pick your Flawless in Five, you can, choose between, you can still choose between Dew Skin and Skin Twin. Dew Skin's fabulous, SPF 20, very sheer. It leaves like a dewy finish, but this one is going to give you uh, the more polished, more um, evened out skin. So, and obviously more of a makeup versus the Dew Skin. But again, it's your choice. And the Flawless Sin 5 is $150. And that um, is actually a $30 savings or, yeah, $30 savings. So there you go. And the Skin Twin is $45 alone, just so you know. Well, thank you for watching. This launches today. So let me know if I can help you in choosing colors or definitely contact your consultant to have them help you and message me with any questions. And again, if you like this video, definitely subscribe and uh, till next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.